in the Sunday's Gospel, um, we, we have Jesus discussing different groups of people, different ethnicities of people who died horrible deaths. And there's this temptation uh, from the faithful that are gathered around Jesus to say, well, surely we won't suffer like that. And Jesus says to them very clearly, very plainly, if you do not repent, you will perish like they did. Now, we, we hear that and we might just think that's really mean and it's really judgmental of Jesus to say something along those lines. But the reality is that's why he came. Right? Jesus came to earth because I'm a sinner. Jesus took on flesh and walked this earth and spent three years in ministry teaching and healing the sick and raising the dead again to new life. He spent all this time on earth. He went through his passion. He went through his, his cross, his torture, his death, his resurrection. He did all of this because I'm a sinner. And he did all of this to save me. Now, seeing that Jesus has done all of this to save me does not free me to do whatever I want. But it frees me to accept what he did for me. See, the word repent, it means this. It means to turn. It's a physical turning of your back on sin to face God again. To repent doesn't mean to say, I'm sorry. To repent means... To, it includes that, I'm sorry, it, inc it includes contrition. But it also includes a turn of my heart. It, it includes a change in me. Right? As the devil takes the good things and twists them into sin, to repent is to untwist them. Right? To repent is to say, I am a sinner and I desire to be righteous again. And to untwist what the devil has twisted. To untwist what sin has done to my, me and my life. So when Jesus looks at us and he says, surely, if you do not repent, you will perish as the pagans did before you. It's not judgmental. It's not harsh. It's not even stern. Actually, it's again his invitation to come to him. That I turn my back on sin and I look at God again because it's God who sustains my life. It's God who provides hope. It's God who provides joy to my heart, to my sp spirit, to everything that I am. To come to Jesus means that I leave where I have been and I move forward. It means that I turn my back on the sin that I've committed and perhaps even become addicted to. And I look at God, who is the source of my joy, and I give myself to him newly. I recommit myself to him. This call to repentance is just a reiterance of Jesus' invitation, come to me.